User Interface UI Design Principles The Structure Principle Design should organize the user interface purposefully in meaningful and useful ways based on clear, consistent models that are apparent and recognizable to users, putting related things together and separating unrelated things, differentiating dissimilar things and making similar things resemble one another. Cards, objects, useful for modular designs or bite-sized chunks. For example, videos, status updates, search results, etc. Focal points create emphasis. Use focal points to create an entry point on the page and a perception of dominance and hierarchy. The structure principle is concerned with overall user interface architecture. The simplicity principle. The design should make simple, common tasks easy. Communicating clearly and simply in the user's own language and providing good shortcuts that are meaningfully related to longer procedures. The visibility principle. The design should make all needed options and materials for a given task visible without distracting the user with extraneous or redundant information. Good designs don't overwhelm users with alternatives or confuse with unneeded information. Don Norman said, the real problem we have with user interface is that it is an interface. Anticipatory design. Design UX by using available data to anticipate what users want to do next. Data mining, deep learning, artificial intelligence and machine learning all provide methods to anticipate your users' intentions. The feedback principle. The design should keep users informed of actions or interpretations, changes of state or condition and errors or exceptions that are relevant and of interest to the user through clear, concise and unambiguous language familiar to users. The tolerance principle. The design should be flexible and tolerant. Reducing the cost of mistakes and misuse by allowing undoing and redoing while also preventing errors wherever possible. By tolerating varied inputs and sequences, like the order of words in article titles. All by interpreting all reasonable actions. For example, by using analytical data collected from the user's previous visits. This principle also states that each aspect of your design should inform the user that something needs to be done to fix the issue and be able to help them by offering recommendations. The reuse principle. The design should reuse internal and external components and behaviours, maintaining consistency with purpose rather than merely arbitrary consistency, thus reducing the need for users to rethink and remember.